In a society obsessed with youthful appearances, Bring your right arm up. 96-year-old Lily Port inspires those who want to age well, both on the surface and deep within. <laughs> I know it. Lily's always been active, taking exercise classes as a spunky three-year-old in Austria and as a teen. But at age 16, Lily felt she was overweight, so she swore off cookies and lost more than 30 pounds. What did you do? These days, Lily allows herself an occasional dessert, but still resolves to stay slim. <laughs> that I am not letting myself eat as much as I would like to that I'm trying to stay away from fattening things. But Lily doesn't think that diet and exercise alone account for her intense energy and sharp intellect. No, I don't think so. I think it's the genes. My mother and my father had good genes. And longevity researcher Nir Barzilai is on the hunt for those genes. As director of the Longevity Genes Project at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Nir and his team have recruited more than 500 healthy elderly, ages 95 to 112, and their children. So far, they've discovered several longevity genes. Their goal? To mimic the beneficial activity of these genes through drug therapy. Lily is one of the study volunteers. I know Lily well for more than 10 years, almost 15 years, and it's amazing how uh, active and involved she's been. Uh, in the last half a year, she took two major trips, one to Turkey and Israel, and she just came back from a trip to Australia and Indonesia. The report are suggesting that you are ahead of the group, that you, ha you are never tired. Lily lives in her own home in Scarsdale, New York, surrounded by reminders from a lifetime of travel, love, and achievement. By the age of 24, Lily had earned a doctorate in economics. She was working in London during World War II when a stranger named Al Bruck sponsored her to come to the U.S. She landed a job at the Department of Consumer Affairs as Director of Consumer Education. Soon she realized that people with disabilities needed an advocate. Nobody had written anything for people with handicaps. So Lily wrote one of the first books to empower the disabled. Lily also hosted her own radio talk show. And remember Al Bruck, the stranger who sponsored her to come to the U.S.? Lily and Al fell madly in love. They had a daughter named Sandy. Even in these home movies, Lily is always on the go, on the ice, at the playground, in the water. You have to be active. You have to be active physically. Exercises and walking, lots of walking and skiing and uh, uh, bicycle riding. So Lily, how many times a week are you doing this upstairs, downstairs? 65 times a day. 65 times a day. Despite excellent health as a backup plan, Lily purchased an apartment nearby at the Osborne Retirement Community. But Lily says she's too young to live there. She's amused when friends and the center's staff ask her when she's moving in, because that day may never come. If I ever move in, which is not likely. Though she's not serious about moving in anytime soon, Lily visits the center to spend time with friends and take exercise classes, including calming Tai Chi. Her recipe for health and happiness? That you enjoy what you're doing, that you, approve, that you enjoy your partner, that you're happy with your partner, Lily says she was lucky in love three times through three marriages. I was very fortunate to marry three wonderful men. Wonderful, handsome, elegant, smart, and very much in love with me, and I in love with them. Lily's dynamic personality and determination have served her well. As she plans her next adventure, Nir Barzilai continues his quest to uncover the unique genetic code that leads to such healthy and long life. <laughs>